Peace Ingredients, this is Artist Your Spirit Guide. So today I want to give three meditation techniques that you can use at your altar and one of them is a technique you use away from your altar but it is a way to bring the altar with you. So, the first technique is a seated meditation or a seated position. Now, similar to the position that I am in now. I'm seated here feeling a sense of grounding through your sit bones. Right? Feel length in your spine. Yeah. Feel a sense of lifting through the crown of your head. Now you can find the OK sign with both of your hands. Right? And then bring your hands to your knees. Right? And then boom. Right? Cross legs. If that's available to you. You can sit with your legs tucked underneath you. Or you can sit in a chair. You know, as long as you are um, grounding, right, and then feeling that sense of lifting and open, okay? Another hand position you can use is bringing the hands to an oval. This is a Soto Zen uh, method. The hands are in an oval, and you want to uh, bring the index finger to the inside of the left hand, right here, and flap it over just like that, and then don't touch the thumbs together. Have them as close. One of my teachers said, you want to feel as if you're holding a sheet of paper in between your thumbs. That's how lightly you want to have the thumbs maybe touch. Okay? So, and you want to have it right below the navel. Right below your navel. Don't press against the body and don't press against your legs. Just almost try to have it hovering there. That's another technique you can use. Um, when you're meditating. Very powerful technique. Uh, the next uh, technique in meditation that you can use at your altar, this is one that's at the altar, is lying down. Now when you lie down, you want to make sure that the body is in a straight uh, position. You're in a good alignment. You're not laying off. You're not laying onto the side of the body or the body is not crooked in any type of way. Everything is straight. You can have the hands facing up to show a sign of receiving or down if you feel like you need a sense of grounding in this position. Uh, stones and crystals are good to have along the body. A good clear uh, quartz crystal is very good to have sitting on the third eye as you're laying in this position. You can do your research on that and I'll do more videos in, uh, at a later time on crystals. Now, in this position you want to, of course, not fall asleep and uh, pretty much um, have the body in a relaxed state in this position. Right? Now, the third is a moving meditation. And you can bring the altar with you. If you look at previous videos that I made, I talk about how you can take the altar with you. One of those ways, and I'll give you an example, is through mala beads. I have mala beads, I leave them on the altar for a certain period of time, and I take them off and carry them with me. That's, that is one of the ways I can have the altar with me. So, jogging, yoga, and most especially, well, because it's my personal favorite, cycling uh, is a good way to do a moving meditation. Once you get into the rhythm of those things, you can black out everything else and get your mind into, into that meditative state when you're doing those activities. Okay. So, if you have any other questions about that, comments, or concerns, you can hit me up on any one of my social media accounts. So, until then, my friends, peace.